when you're looking at doing your F1 student visa, you really have to think about it from the officer's perspective. If you want to pass it, think like a visa officer. And the way to do that is first, the visa officer is going to be thinking, well, how is the school um, in relation to this visa applicant? You can't apply to just one school. You have to be thinking about applying to multiple schools and having a process of funneling it down so that you just have this one school. The officer is going to be asking why this applicant and why this school. And so you really need to be thinking about what about this school is special and unique to my circumstances. That's the first thing that's important. The second thing the officer is going to ask is how can this visa applicant afford this school? Is it loans? Is it scholarships? Is it personal family that's donating the money? But whatever it is, it has to make sense from the perspective of the visa officer. It can't be just some third cousin who just wants to give you money to go to school. You really have to make sure that it makes sense to the visa officer. And finally, to pass this visa interview, you need to be thinking about what are you going to actually do with this degree. A lot of visa applicants get tripped up on this notion of what they do with this degree. A lot of them say, well, I'm going to stay in America or I'm going to stay in America for the long term with a degree. And that's a mistake. The F1 student visa is ultimately a non-immigrant visa. You can't be planning to live in the United States. And so officers want to hear about your plans to return to your home country and what that degree means for your return to your home country.